The purpose of this video is to offer helpful tips and suggestions on how to get the best use out of your Gorilla Painter watercolor board. Uh, I want to start by uh, explaining all of the parts that make up these watercolor boards because I think it's important to understand how these parts come together uh, to make stretching paper possible. Uh, there's the screws, uh, the two-part extrusion, and the panel itself. Uh, the two-part aluminum extrusions, uh, the top is, is black, the, the bottom part is silver, and it's these two extrusions that kind of seat together that actually draws the paper across the board and creates the, the tension. It isn't the screw itself, the screw just facilitates bringing the two together. So um, let's talk about the screw. Under each uh, screw head there's a thin translucent washer. I don't know if you can make that out uh, with the camera. But this washer is often difficult to see, especially as you tighten things down. And uh, it's possible to confuse, if you don't know the washer's there, you can confuse it with there actually being a gap. And some people sensing there's a gap may continue to turn the screw when it's when it's not necessary so it's good to be aware that that's there uh, I, I thought I'd, I'd use a piece of paper and show you just how uh, this assembly uh, pulls everything together so get this in there and uh, while I'm at it I'll just mention uh, the common Phillips screwdriver comes in a, a range of sizes and the most common sizes are a number one head and a number two head and the watercolor board screws uh, are fit to a number two head Phillips screwdriver if you were to try and use a number one head uh, the tendency is is for the screwdriver to climb up and out of the head and spin like that and it's going to make your life difficult and it's going to make it harder to control these screws. So uh, get yourself a number two if you don't already have one and it'll make your life easier. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll start uh, screwing this one down. And as I do, you'll see the paper uh, being pulled across the board as the top extrusion seats in the bottom. And uh, once this top extrusion closes the gap and fully seats, it's at that point you can stop turning your screw. One way to sense that is when there's no more movement, uh, this one moved because it's not a full watercolor board, but when you, when you grab the extrusion and it's, it feels snug and there's no rattling or movement, you know that it's, it's seated and there's really no, no reason to go ahead and turn this anymore. And at that point, if you were to try and force it, that's when uh, you can create problems for yourself and for the watercolor board. So uh, whether you're loosening the screws as I'm about to do or tightening them, you want to work gradually. And uh, rather than backing one screw all the way out, uh, turn each one a little bit, you know, maybe 180 degrees. As you work yourself around the board, and just keep going until you have all the screws out now uh, all the screws are loose it's at this point you'd wet your paper roll it out across your panel and then reinstall the extrusions, which we'll go ahead and do now. One of the things I find helpful as I'm uh, starting the screws back in again is rather than just uh, rotating one screw uh, all the way in, uh, is to start the screw actually by going backwards. There you go. And you go backwards until you you uh, you both hear and feel the screw seat. Uh, sometimes there's a an audible click. Did you hear that? 
once you uh, feel and hear that click, you know that the threads are seated and you can start going clockwise to tighten the screw. But again, don't tighten one all the way down. Uh, just work, work, work your way around the board, tightening each one gradually. Again, we're going to go backwards. There we go. And then a little bit tighter. And by going backwards and seating that thread, what you're doing is you're ensuring that you don't cross-thread the screw. And uh, if you were to cross-thread the screw, um, it can create problems for you. Again, we don't want to over tighten. And uh, this last one here, I can feel there's a little bit of play there, but I'm close. And as soon as that play disappears, you know you're seated. There's no reason to tighten it more, even though you could. And there we are. Easy peasy.